Hello friends, today we are going to read Quiet Wyatt by Tammy Sauer. Let's start. Wyatt liked quiet. And being quiet worked for Wyatt. He was a spectacular tree in the school play. He was the model visitor at the Dinosaur Museum. He was a total star at Ninja Camp. Wyatt's world was perfectly quiet. Until his class went on a field trip and he was paired with Noreen. Noreen was anything but quiet. I'm the queen of nature, said Noreen. Let's do this, field trip buddy. Wyatt gulped. Quietly, of course. Fishing is my specialty, said Noreen. This is how to cast a line. Wyatt gaped. Quietly, of course. I was born for boating, said Noreen. This is how to paddle a canoe. Wyatt dripped. Quietly, of course. Wow, said Noreen. I'm so good at noticing the details, it's scary. It was a very busy field trip. There was bird watching. Binoculars are for beginners, Wyatt. There was hiking. This is what you call trailblazing, Wyatt. There was ziplining. Don't look down, Wyatt. Somebody got extra quiet. When it was time to return to the bus, Noreen had lots to say. Nature's not all I'm good at. There's math and cartwheels and, oops. Almost forgot. I have the gift of song. One thing was clear. For the first time in the history of Wyatt, he could not stay quiet. Noreen. Rocks. Thanks, said Noreen. Glad you think so. Then. Uh-oh, said Noreen. Whoosh. Loop-de-loop. -loop. Scoop. Everyone was wowed. Especially Noreen. I'm an excellent ninja, said Wyatt. Good to know, field trip buddy, said Noreen. The bus headed back to school. Hey, Mr. Driver, said Noreen. I know a shortcut. Wyatt didn't know what to say. So he stayed quiet. But, from time to time, Wyatt wasn't so quiet. See, said Wyatt. Oh, said Noreen. Wyatt smiled. Quietly, of course. He still liked quiet. He also liked having a friend. The end. I hope you love this story. See you next time with another wonderful storybook.